Next, we come to the failure to thrive. We find that these children have significant problems related to growth and development. They have failure to thrive, so they have uh, decreased weight for height. They have decreased height for age. Both of them are decreased. But weight for height is more severely affected than decreased height for age. These children, they usually tend to, uh, at birth, their overall weight and height may be borderline normal to low, but as age advances, they tend to increase in the height, the increase in the weight tends to fall down. So much so that by the age of, between the age of 10 to 15 years, you find that their height is usually, normally we say that height at 10 years of age, the second one is failure to thrive. We find that these patients have significant decrease in the gain of height velocity and weight velocity after birth. At birth, we find that their weight and length are either normal for age or slightly low compared to children of the same age. But within one year of life, within one to two years, you find that there is significant decrease in gain of weight as well as height. MCQ, Nelson says, weight is weight inadequacy is more as compared to deficit in height. deficient in height plus because of uh, loss of subcutaneous fat it is found that these children tend to have increased temperature sensitivity they tend to develop hypothermia very commonly and then they have painful episodes on jumping or prolonged walking why because the heel of their foot has no subcutaneous fat that and has thin skin so they will have pain when they jump or they walk for prolonged periods